All right, man. So we're looking at what two weeks until your show. Yes. Is that correct? Yes, two weeks. All right. Do you feel ready? As ready as I can be. As ready as you can be. Now, how many shows have you done in your entire lifetime? I did one bodybuilding show, and I did one, two, two physique shows so far. Okay. Do you feel like this will be your best showing yet? It's definitely going to be my best package yet. Okay. Um, By placing, um, I think it's going to be my best placing so far. It should right. be, at least. All right. Um, and you have your posing routine down? Yes. Physique division, correct? Yes. Physique division. Physique division. It's going to be 35 and over and uh, open class. So two classes. Two classes. Okay. Give everybody an idea, um, just a snapshot of what you would do. And a lot of people ask these questions to competitors. What are you going to eat on the day of the competition to get you ready to go on stage? You personally, because everybody has their own preferences. Um, what are you going to eat that day? Well, um, considering that everything is good till Saturday morning. Right. Um, that I'm not overweight, I'm not underweight on Friday night. So, um, are usually competitors trying to load up also on Saturday morning. They pretty much don't have or very little water. And uh, they basically trying to load up on a little bit of sodium, they try to load up on carbs, definitely, definitely, and and definitely some fat. Okay. To bring out uh, vascularity, okay. of course, and to feel and look full on okay. stage. So basically, what I would do, um, if I would be on on point, then I would get up in the morning. I would eat my either pancakes with egg whites. Well, actually, yes. So it would be pancakes and egg whites with everything, syrup, the whole blah, blah, blah. Okay. Uh, probably another something sweet, like a cupcake. Okay. Like that would be before 8 o'clock, which is going to be registration check-in. Okay. After that point, you're pretty much going to eat every two, two and a half hours. Your portions, well, my portions, were about three to four ounces of protein, very lean, chicken or white fish, with potato, yams, um, sometimes it would be white rice, or dry oatmeal. Because, as I said, you don't want any liquids yet. The only liquids that you can sip, it would be a little bit of Pedialyte, just to get those electrolytes in you, but that would be really sipping. It's not even, you know. Okay. I'm not even talking about three, four ounces. Okay. It depends on your vascularity and how dry you are. Some people like to drink a little bit of a Coke okay. or a red wine. But that would be 20 to 30 minutes before they step on stage. And, and keep in mind, everybody, alcohol is not permitted backstage? No, it's not. Just keep that in mind. Yes. So okay. you can have a little bit of red wine right before you go to the stage. or um, I'm not sure how you do it, but that's just the procedure. <laughs> just the rules. Yes. Um, I would have granola in my bag. I would have um, some a little bit of chocolate in my bag. So in between of those two and a half hours, I will try to snack a little bit if I'm gonna be if I'm gonna be hungry. Um, I will have sodium-free rice cakes with peanut butter and jelly, and I can use that. Great. Uh, that's pretty much it. Um, Pre-judging starts at ten o'clock. So if you do well until 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, and you know that you're top five, I would suggest not go crazy on between prejudgment and finals, which is you have about three, four hours. Some people, bodybuilders, would go and start eat up, start load up uh, before the finals, and a lot of them will spill over. Some physique competitors experience that as well. As a matter of fact, I experienced that on my first show in LA uh, two years ago, and uh, it, it wasn't really fun. Now that I know if I will place top five, and I will know that I will come back to receive the trophies, I would probably keep my you know, little meals right. throughout the whole entire break, right. and um, I will enjoy some 
you know, a little trophy meal. Right. After everything. Okay. Is done. So why don't you tell everybody um, about your most recent uh, book cover? I I do book covers, and I do pretty well. Uh. First book cover I got, it was a Immortal Scrolls, a book called Amara, which is I am on the cover as a gladiator. Second book was Male for Male, which is a, a gay romance cover, and I got picked also for a cover. I will have a photo shoot in about seven days for an actual book cover artist that hired me as a model. Okay. And, um, you know, it's a paid photo shoot, which is, I know for sure I will get more covers okay. out of that because that is basically her job. So, um, yeah, so you guys probably will see a lot more covers. Great. Um, so this is just a, a perfect example of making the most out of your contest prep and dieting for shows. A lot of people will diet for a show, but they won't really uh, push themselves to their full potential in terms of network, uh, networking, marketing, things like that. Uh, it's very smart uh, for competitors. For instance, you have Eddie here. Um, he might place first, he might place fifth, he might place last, but regardless of his placing, he is not banking on just that show uh, to be how he views his contest prep. He does things like network with photographers. Yeah, I look on a longer, you know, term. Correct. You know what I mean? The book covers will last in a lifetime. This show is really, you know, this show is just basically something that I like to do. It's not even about the show. It's a whole process. Correct. Of 12 weeks. Correct. You know, of, of prepping, um, talking to my clients about they are the first witnesses, actually, how I do, how I feel, how I treat them while I'm doing it. Right. You know, sometimes my clients... Like, I have a clients right now that are competing with me. So, that's what it is. So, I'm not only using this prep as a, oh my God, it's a show. No, it, it's a networking for me to actually set up some business that I can do if I'm done with the training, for example. I do want to be a model. So, um, those, those book covers are pretty good chance. Yeah, so uh, take that advice, guys. Think about it. Uh, these are things that will look great on your resume. Things that look great in the long run uh, to have... Uh, say I, I did that. So when you're contest prepping, make sure you, you contact photographers. Um, speaking of which, uh, Brandon Wells, obviously you know who does photography for better aesthetics, um, is a great example of a local photographer who you can contact to get fantastic work from. Or so I use my, you know, fifth element. Correct, fifth element. Yeah, they well. both really well. They they are in a little, little different um, criteria. You know they. But they, I mean, there, there's a lot of photographers out there that you can use. But just use it, you know, just, you did your prep, you got your body to the most potential that you can get. Why not take Correct. Take Why not take picture? advantage of it? I you know, uh, I mean, it, the pictures last a lifetime. Yes. You know what I mean? You have no idea what's going to happen to you, but, you know, it's one time you look at it, you, you show it to your kid, hey, this is how it was. Right. right. Really? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So we'll be coming back with some more um, interviews and uh, some more footage. Uh, we have two weeks left and we're definitely going to be backstage or as close to backstage as I can possibly get uh, for the upcoming show. Uh, just to get some kind of unique footage for everybody to see kind of what goes on behind uh, the scenes. Of course, I'll most likely get in trouble for filming in certain areas, but uh, that's besides the point. Stay tuned because Eddie is doing a great job with his prep. He's looking fantastic. Um, as you've seen from the videos, I, I want to thank you guys for all the support. Eddie, you have anything else you want to say? No, thank you for support, guys. I appreciate all the comments. Um, as much as I can, I will comment back. And, uh, you know, keep up the good work. Great. So. Awesome. Thanks, Eddie. I appreciate it, man.